Hey everybody, welcome back to Advanced Wars. Um, this is chapter 3. And I kind of made a move already, I forgot I wasn't recording yet, so oops. But essentially we're going up against Eagle, which if I remember correctly, I'll actually look at the intel right now. Let's see, O. Oh. Strongest firepower in the skies, but flounders at sea. Well, sea, we don't really care about that, but he's really good when it comes to air units, aerial units. Lightning Strike. Non-infantry units, which is basically um, his air units. Any of them ordered to wait can move again that turn. Basically, they get two turns in one, but their ratings are lower than normal, so they get a second turn, but they're weaker. But that's still really pa really tough. If he manages to get his CO power on this map, any vehicles I have, any of my planes will get screwed over by V's, his fighters, and his bombers will do some major damage if I don't take care of it. So, what am I going to do? Well, there's a missile unit set up here, so... That, combined with the fact that these fighters can get to this side in a matter of one or two days... I'm not going to risk it trying to get my T-copter to drop off um, soldiers over there. Instead, I'm going to try to take control of this little island thing here. And we'll go from there. We can do it relatively quickly. Yeah, you just got beat by a 13 to 15 year old boy. Thank you to whoever confirmed it for me. I apologize for not remembering your name right off the bat, but, you know, thanks. <laughs> okay, if these guys can't get to my fighter. Owned. Alright. Get you in there. Alright, only... Yeah, only landers can do that. That'll do. Okay, I'll move my missile unit here. Oh wait! He, oh right. I keep I forgot for a moment that I had the T-copter. I was gonna be like, what? I don't have any airports. How would I get over there? <laughs> Oops. I had a blonde moment, but I'm not blonde. I want to buy an anti-air unit, so... How, many, how much money am I making per turn? 6,000? I can afford a recon unit. Gotta take this strategically. On demand. Oh, you little bastard. I guess the AI is smart enough not to have him advance all the way down. Oh, well. Thankfully, we can take care of these fighters. Force them to either join him, or to have him try to do damage anyways. You just got owned, son. What do I want to do now? Eh. Uh, might as well drop you off here, buddy. Godspeed. Um. Make sure this bomber can't hit me. Okay, I'll be good. Uh, 
I'll take the preemptive strike. Why not? Do do do. Alright. Anti-air unit. Yay. I think that's good. Well, there goes that. Ah, oh, boned. Attack that. Eagle, huh? What kind of, what kind of sad person would name their kid Eagle? And again, who would name their kid Nell? Person from Star Ocean 3? Absolutely. I'm trying to figure out what to do here. Have him start capturing. This recon unit is expendable. Go! in the zone right now. That bomber is likely to go right here. Question is, do I want to keep my anti-air unit air, my anti-air unit right here? Yeah, these two, the only target these two have is this. I don't have any other air units. Strategically, I am being smart. Not a dum dum. Start moving my units up. See, you gotta really consider all the units that are on the field and the f what you have available. You don't have an airport, so you don't have to worry about these guys living. If anything, I'll just capture this HQ soon enough. Actually, that poses a particularly nice thought. Let's have this move here, and this move here, to block the fighters from attacking my T-copter. Genius! Huh. Okay, we're still good. We're still good. Are you full and what? I didn't even get to read it. Oh, you bastard. I'm amazed it didn't kill them all. 
Right, I've got it. I know who you've encountered. Four turns later. Those are green earth troops. Rumor has it that there's an independent battalion roaming about. I believe you found them. Watch out for their air units. They're supposed to be brutal. Yeah, no kidding. Well, um, good luck. Yeah. What a woman. What a woman. I'm gonna have you hiding here. Finish it. There we go. Crippled their defenses. Awesome. Deal with the fighters so my T-copter is safe, and then I'll move in for the HQ. That's the smartest thing here, especially since he has a factory now. He can start building up his forces, so there's no point in trying to rid the field of all enemy forces. Might as well just go for it, you know? Oh, and you know what? I have a missile unit. Can I have it fire on the bomber? Yes, I can. Awesome. Sweet. Okay, we have this map pretty much beaten. There is no way Eagle can recover from this. Alright, have you move up? I'll save up for a medium tank, even though I don't need it. Checkmate! I feel sorry for all these enemy CEOs. They must be like, oh my god, I'm getting my ass kicked by a teenager who barely hit puberty. I don't even think Andy hit, has hit puberty yet. <laughs> Peace out. I haven't even used Andy's CO power yet. Yeah, you're too late. By the time that T-copter is destroyed, I'll have captured this HQ, so... In fact... Now my T-copter has 8, eight HP. That was relatively simple. When you think these maps out in Advanced Wars, it really work it really does a lot of good for you, you know. It's not a game you can just like rush, you know. How many times did I just say you know? <laughs> you really gotta think. You gotta think. How am I going to embarrass the CEO next with Andy? Make him think, God, I got outwitted on the field, field of war. 
by some punk kid who's so naive he can't remember a single basic lesson that his instructor taught him. <laughs> I lost. Don't play dumb with me, boy. I'll never forget what you've done. Huh, so apparently Eagle knows Andy for some godforsaken reason. I don't know why, because Andy's a new recruit. Oh well, on to chapter four. Oh boy.